Hello, in this video I want to demonstrate how you can work with layer masks inside Photoshop to for example brighten up the iris of the eyes. So let's start inside Lightroom, just do the basic adjustments inside Lightroom and then hop over to Photoshop to see what you can do inside Photoshop to brighten up the eyes. Here I'm inside Lightroom. I will go to the develop model, just go in here a little bit and just bring up the shadows a little bit more. And yeah, I think that's totally fine for this image. And now I want to jump over to Photoshop. So the shortcut is Command E or right click, edit in, edit in Adobe Photoshop. So this image, this raw image will now send over to Photoshop. And if it's done, Photoshop will open automatically. I can use the embedded um, color space for this now because I'm using Adobe RGB to bring the images over to Photoshop. And here in Photoshop, I will double check, I have set it up as RGB as my working space, but I said I want to preserve the settings of the embedded image. So let's go with this. Okay. Just a small sidetrack. So now I'm here inside Photoshop and now I want to work and to brighten up the image in special in small regions here onto the eyes. And for this you can use layer masks and you can go in and add a curves adjustment layer. So the curves adjustment layer brings up everything which is below the curves adjustment layer. So if I just take a point here in the middle and uh, bring the point up a little bit, then you see the whole image gets lit up. And that's because the curves layer or the curves adjustment layer is on the whole image because the layer mask over here is white. And the white layer mask means that the whole image gets adjusted from this adjustment layer, this curves layer before or in front of the uh, mask. If I have a black mask, for example, then this adjustment don't um, adjust the images below. So for this, I can go in here in the Mac and press Command I or on Windows, Command I as well. And then I invert this image or just this mask and you see the white mask is now black and the adjustment didn't come through because the mask is black. If I now invert it again, Command I, then you see it's white again and the adjustment is here. A white mask is the same as I would delete the mask. So when I delete the mask over here, then you see I have no white mask and the adjustment layer is over all of the other layers. So when I now bring in, for example, some contrast with an S curve to brighten up the brighter images or image regions, and to darken the lower, you will see I will adjust the whole image. I would most certainly not go that far. So just a small uh, S-curve over there. Okay, so I can delete the points when I'm throwing them out of this window. Now go in to lighten this uh, big. And now I want to add the layer mask again. So I press on the layer mask. I have a white layer mask again. Now I see the properties uh, have been opened and here I can also go in and invert the layer mask when I bring this down a little bit more like so and here you have the invert button. That's the same as the command I. Now I have a black mask and the cool thing is right now if you're switching over to your brush and take one of my tool presets I demonstrated this in a video before how you can install this tool preset for you as well then you can go in with a white brush, so the foreground color is white, that's really really crucial, and bring in the size a little bit more. And when I now paint with a white brush, I will just add this adjustment I've done before here to the eyes. And the cool part is, if you are not this exact and you have painted outside this image, then the adjustment will also adjust everything which is underneath your brush stroke. So if I made some strokes over there, then you see I have the lighting on the strokes as well. In fact, you can 
option click on the mask icon and you see everywhere where it's white, like so, you see through and everywhere where it's black, you don't see through. And when I now option click on the mask again, you see that I have here the white written because the mask is white over there and then I see the adjustment through this white mask regions. But they don't need to be white, it's just the mask that's white. So when I now go to the adjustment layer and bring down the adjustment, you will see I will darken everything which is underneath this white or which um, sees through the white regions on my mask. So in this case, the black really looks spooky. So I will go to a white. And now I don't want to have the whites over there. So what I have to do is the following. I can option click on the mask, just take my brush, take a black brush and brush away the white regions over there. I can for sure do it in this view as well. So I will just brush over these regions, bring in the size a little bit and with a black brush I can undo all my lighting over there like so. And now my mask is just where the eyes are and here. So I have to undo this. So just where the eyes are, there is my mask um, white right now. And now I can go in and brighten the eyes even more. I can even bring in the darks. So I will darken up the dark parts of the eyes and just brighten the bright parts. And with a classic RGB core curve or a classic tone curve in the mode RGB or in the normal mode, the three channels get um, boosted right now and so the colors get boosted as well. But if I just want to add lightning or lightness, I can switch the blend mode from the curves from normal to uh, luminosity and now I will just lighten up but don't overdo the saturation. So that's a nice addition that's optional if you want to have more saturation you can leave it on normal this adjustment layer. If you just want to brighten go down to luminosity and then you just brighten without additional saturation. So that's totally up to you. Okay so now I have brightened up the eyes quite a bit but so we see it and I will certainly add a name to this layer. And now I create a second layer, a second curves adjustment layer. And this one is for vignetting. Yes. And now I can bring down everything because the layer is right now black or is, it is right now white, the layer mask. So everything gets darker, but I just want to darken the outer parts of the image. The inner parts should be um, the original lightning. So I will go in the, into the mask, take a brush, take a big brush like so and I paint with black because I don't want to have the effect of this adjustment layer, the darkening everywhere. I just want it on the outer corners so I can start bringing the original effect back here in the middle and that's my layer mask. So the darkening is just outside here on the whites and here where the black is there is no darkening. The transition is a little bit too fast so what I can do right now is go to the layer mask, go to the filter menu, then to unsharpen, to blur here in Photoshop and there to the Gaussian blur. And here with the Gaussian blur I can bring in a rather big value and blur the heck out of this transition. Just wait here a little bit. So Photoshop has to update this transition. So a little bit smaller. Yeah, like so. Press on OK. And when I now make the option click on the mask, you see that I have a really, really um, blurred mask. And only in this region, I have not that much of a darkening. But to go on the safe side, option click over there, I take the brush again, reduce the opacity for example to yeah roughly 30% and just go in the regions I want to brighten. That's the face region and maybe here the upper body 
Plexo. And now I just darken the outer parts of this image and the inner parts will stay as it was before. When I now want to bring down the brightness of the eyes a little bit, I can go into the curves adjustment and maybe bring it down or I can also just bring down the opacity of these curves for the eyes layer to blend it with the original image. Okay, and so you see it. Right now we have done the following adjustments. This was the before. This is the after, this is the before, this is the after. This is the option click on the eye to just see this layer. So this was the brightening of the eyes, like so. And on top I did the layer or the vignetting with a curves adjustment. And on the mask I worked a little bit with the blur, Gaussian blur. And after that I just masked in the regions that shouldn't be darkened. So perfect, now you know a little bit more uh, how to work with masks. Just remember a white mask shows the effect or the layer from before. A black mask hides everything which is before. And then you can work with the brush for example or any other tool to bring in white or black and to dial it to the, to the region of the image where you want to have the effect or where you don't want to have the effect. If you want to learn more about Lightroom and Photoshop visit my website martindorsch.com. There you see courses on Lightroom and on other topics. If you like this video, give it a like. If you are not a subscriber right now, please press on the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions for new videos, that's a really hard word for not English speakers, suggestions. I hope I did it right. You can write in the comment if I uh, pronounced it the right way. No, I don't want to do it right now again. And then I would say we will see us in the next video and have a nice week. And as always, stay tuned and enjoy what you have learned. See you.